I'm Greg Tidwell, one of the evangelists for the Church of Christ at 1130 Fishing Road in Columbus, Ohio. We all feel weary sometimes. Perhaps fatigue has set in because of overexertion or a loss of sleep. Sometimes a physical illness, especially one of long duration, will drain our energy. And sometimes weariness has an emotional component. Worry, confusion, stress, all can make us feel just wiped out. But as Christians, we know we can't give in to lethargy. We are commanded many times in Scripture to engage life, to overcome those obstacles, and to be productive in the Lord's service. The Apostle Paul reminds us in Galatians 6 verse 9, And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. How then do we manage our weariness? Well, first of all, we need to realize that it is a natural part of life. The Bible doesn't tell us that we will never feel fatigued. Rather, it encourages us through faith to overcome weariness and to be productive in spite of it. We do this looking to the Lord, and we find a power that this world would never imagine is there, a power that comes from heaven itself. The prophet Isaiah reminds us in Isaiah 40, beginning in verse 30, Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Notice this text does not tell us that we will never lose our strength, that we will never lose our energy, but rather it tells us we can renew our strength, that we can gain what we need to accomplish great things. Looking to the Lord, we are able to mount up like eagles. Of course, when we look through Scripture, we find many examples of faith where men and women were able to do great things in spite of the obstacles before them, the greatest example, of course, is our Savior himself. When we look at Jesus Christ, we realize that he overcame all of the obstacles that are common to humanity. He knew what it was like to be physically exhausted, and he knew what it was like to have the stress and strain of life all around him. The author of Hebrews reminds us of this. Hebrews 12, verse 3 Consider him who endured from sinners such hostility against himself, so that you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. We should not grow weary. We should not grow faint-hearted. Rather, we should gain strength. How? By looking to Jesus. By recognizing in his example someone who overcame, who was involved in God's work in every aspect of his life. There is an invigoration, an empowerment that comes from doing good. For many of us, life has changed dramatically over the past few days. And through this time, we need to find opportunities of doing good, not only for those we serve, but also for ourselves. Because in doing good, we are able to find strength from day to day. Whether it's writing a note, making a phone call, saying a prayer, being an encouragement to others through this time of stress. In doing this, we ourselves will be empowered, and we do it recognizing that the Lord is with us. In 1 Corinthians 15.58, the Apostle Paul writes, Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. He doesn't say, abound in the work of the Lord sometimes, or when it's convenient, but always be abounding in the work of the Lord. We must not let ourselves grow weary in doing good. This is Greg Tedwell at the Church of Christ. Our congregation has suspended services for the time being because of the health crisis, but we look forward to meeting again before long, and we hope that you will be with us. I hope that you and your family have a blessed day and look forward to being with you again.